we have a 97 GT. What it's got is an 8.8 .8 rear end. And she's liberated. Got the 8.8. .8, and next step, we're going to drive in the race. I didn't film any of the uh, installation of the, uh, you know, setting the preload on the pinion bearing and putting the pinion in and the rain gear and the carrier and shims and all that. Doesn't matter anyways, because LMR does a much better job explaining it. And then um, I also use Richard's way of doing things. He has a way of simplifying things that I like that maybe the average hobbyist doesn't like, would not like. Anyway, moot point, we're going to start taking the 7.5 out, putting the 8.8 eight in. Alex done. All right, y'all, this is the way. I <clears throat> forgot about this or I didn't know it. You get your jaw, your jaw puller and you just uh, extend the threads until they hit here. Then they open up and then grab the inner lip. First one took me 20 minutes. This one's going to take me 20 seconds. The 7.5's out, the 8.8 eight is in. Uh, next up, we're going to throw in the axle bearings, the seals, the axles, C-clips, all that other stuff. And I'm hoping by tonight I can just get the uh, diff cover RTV'd and then we'll finish the rest tomorrow, maybe. All right, the axles, the C-clips, everything's in. We'll RTV the diff cap and then call it a night and we'll see how far we can get on this bad boy tomorrow. Figured maybe I could do some working on camera. So right now, our condition is, I don't even know if I'm in the frame. All right, so we got the um, lower control arms torqued down. Uh, the uh, strut, and I'm on the upper, last upper control arm right now. And then I got to figure out the not figure out, he's got to get the brake line situated. And then I did some janky stuff with my fuel pump about a year ago. I'm gonna have to um, zip tie, <laughs> zip tie some of that stuff out to the way. And then we'll be golden. One hooded, let's see if I can get this. But yeah, man, this has been it's been a learning experience. Let's see. Oh man, of course I got no room to work. Oh bollocks. There's gotta be a better way. Hang on a minute. Might have to turn the camera off to figure this one out. But uh, yeah, we'll check back in in a mo. Okay, day four of a two day job. I really think after this, I really believe I might clean the garage. And you guys thought I was gonna clean the garage. It is a little bit cleaner. That's the 7.5, uh, the 8.8's in with the highway gears and I'm unbe loving it. Um, now, the next thing for Project Daily Driver is to cut a hole in this, uh, this hood and then we'll put the, um, how you doing, the scoop on it and then that's well, I don't know. And then no one then. Uh, we'll see where, where we go from here. So here's our condition. Uh, what I did was I just put tape on the inside of the bolts and then I just built up a tape line and then I just put a, a pilot hole. And that's what we'll end up with. And then we'll retape it again and then we'll zip it with a, um, I have a pneumatic uh, grinder. So we'll, we'll try that out on it. And then, and if, if your feelings are hurt, like, I can't believe you're ruining a perfectly good hood, it ain't. We'll go ahead and leave the garage a mess, and then we'll zip this up uh, in the morning time. If you don't look at the cut for too long, it looks pretty good. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw the hood scoop on. So I spent maybe 30 minutes sanding on this hood, and then ADD kicked in. Pulled the transmission. Uh, to get the flywheel resurfaced and um, boy did I need to get it resurfaced let me see if I can find the I was on a business trip so I'm I just got back and I'm getting everything kind of refigured out um, pressure plates in pretty rough shape the uh, clutch was just about down to the rivets so I got a, a Luke 
pressure plate and clutch uh, that we're going to throw in. But one of the neat things that the uh, machinist said to do, he said, put, this isn't the first time this has been machined. He said, so in order to make sure everything's going to be okay, put a bolt in, put your clutch on top, and then make sure you can wiggle that bolt, you know, from the bottom side, at least an eighth of an inch. If you got an eighth of an inch, you'll be fine. So I'm about to check that and everything. So I got the uh, clutch back in. It's real nice and smooth. Um, got the hood on, which I already knew, but it's kind of nice and easier to see out of. And then I'm in fourth gear, 1900 RPM, doing 55 mile an hour with these uh, highway gears in the back. The only time I use fifth gears if I'm trying to maybe just break them off. But I am enjoying the highway gears as well. And so far, so good. The next thing would be to, uh, I don't have it, but I need to install a phone charger. And then uh, Project Daily Driver will be pretty close. 